ओके सो लेट्स कंटिन्यू विद आवर नेक्स्ट वीडियो इन द गिटअप सीरीज एंड वी वर लुकिंग आउट द गिटअप एक्शन सो टिल नाउ लेट्स सी लाइक वट वी हैव कवर टिल नाउ लेट मी ओपन दी वर्क फ्लोज so in the last video we have covered like how to publish the images on the github container registry all right so what is the github container registry so if you come here we will we have pack, we have published some package here so instead of the like the docker so we can publish the package in the github itself right so now in this video we will see how we can add a workflow status badge so maybe like uh, you have noticed this kind of badge this kind of badge maybe it is mentioned like okay you know test run integration test passing uh, something is failing right so this kind of badge on the readme file mostly you will you have seen on the readme file all right so currently our readme file uh, like uh, doesn't have anything just uh, like the description only but but in actual project right so in actual project you have like uh, let's suppose a couple of workflow one workflow is for unit testing Uh, one for work workflow is for like uh, functional testing. One workflow is integration testing, and and uh, and the all the workflow is like uh, on the event like either pull or push event. Just an example. So whenever you are going to merge that PR into your main branch, that workflow is going to be triggered at the back end, right? So whether workflow has been completed or whether workflow has been failed, one option is you can manually check, right? But one option is that. can we just like uh, uh put something on the readme right so on the readme some kind of a badge like this kind of a badge right and it will automatically get update so if it is passing then it will show green if it is not passing it will show failed so how we can do that so it's very simple so if you go to the actions and let's suppose this badge right so i want to uh, like so this 16th right so this 16th uh and i want to show whether this 16th workflow has been completed or failed all right so what i can do is go to the actions click on the particular workflow 16 number and you see this three dot so click on this three dot and there is an option called create status badge so click on it you will get some code all right and let's suppose we you want to apply on the default branch all right so default branch means like uh, your main branch okay so just copy paste this code all right and now open you are like a repository so you have opened that now whatever the code you have copied so open your readme file because we want to show that page on the readme file so currently readme has this thing so let's suppose i want to show that here that's it and now you can you can like push this Minus M. Add status badge and git push. So I have pushed that, right? So and if I click on it, and if you see, it shows me passing, right? Maybe you see that uh, like uh, maybe it is some kind of image which is which which is like visible to you as a passing, but what if? the workflow has been failed will it change to red so let's let's try that as well so like uh, i am like showing the status for the uh, for this thing like uh, 16th workflow so let me open the 16th workflow and let me make that failed so just let me comment this permission so that it get failed forcefully failed workflow and git push so i have pushed that all right and first i need to trigger my workflow because it is on the uh, workflow dispatch so let me run that workflow because we want to like that badge that badge what we are we are adding into the readme file that is that should show the latest status not the previous status right so our workflow has been triggered so this this should be failed because like we have removed the uh, like uh, right permission so this has been failed right so let me wait so this has been failed but whether it has been updated or not so currently you see it is passing 
why why it is not showing failed because this image is being it's already being updated you have to refresh your browser so if you because like uh, sometimes like it's stored in the cache so if you open some other browser let me open the google chrome and run that and scroll down you could see failing all right so if you're not able to see either forcefully refresh the browser or remove the cache or probably best option is you just open into the some other browser so i have opened into into my some other browser and i i could see okay that status has been failing so as soon as like someone like uh, this is a very useful option right so as someone like go to the uh, go to this like uh, your repository okay so whether all that like whether should i use this repository or not yes the code is perfectly okay my unit test is passing my functional test is passing so you can show the status here right so you can add like multiple status here like because we have multiple workflows so let me let me go to the basic workflow all right so let me revert this revert these changes first Revert changes good push yeah that's fine now let's suppose like you have the basic workflow and you want to let's suppose you have this is the unit testing this is functional testing and you want to show like all, all kind of testing there so you click on the basic workflow all right so click here on the three dot click on the create status batch go get the get some code open your readme file so open the readme file all right and add the line wherever you want so add the line so i have added the line so this line has been added so if you want to like let's suppose uh, currently it is one dot basic workflow i don't want to show one dot i just want to show basic workflow or as an example i don't want to show 16 dot publish docker image i just want to show 16 so that's up to you like oh, how you want to show but let's let's write that git add git commit minus m update status batch Good push. So now I have pushed that. And uh, let's go to the code. So it is showing me the two badges now. It is showing me the two badges. One is for the basic workflow, and uh, it's still showing one dot basic workflow. Uh, I think the image name is one dot basic workflow. Ideally, it, sh it should show basic workflow or published Docker image, but not sure why. It is still showing the basic workflow. I will check that. But yes, you can show like uh, you are multiple workflows here. All right. So if you want to show like some line by line, then you can you can show that as well. So using some markdown operator. All right. Or if you want to show in some table format, you can do that as well. All right. But you you can you can show like. Uh, all these so currently like our my gscr is failing because now it's updated but let me if if i rerun that 16th one if i rerun because i have fixed that now i have fixed that so it is going to change to to the passing one so this is a very small video so here like they have showed a couple of things i'm not sure whether they have showed a couple of things or not but i can i can tell you so if you go to your readme file so you could see if it is failing, then it is in the red. If it is passing, then it is showing the green. But let's suppose you have added some workflow which you have not triggered. All right, you have no triggered, but you created the status badge. So as an example, so you have some workflow. I created some workflow file, but I have not triggered, but I created the status badge. So let's suppose from testing workflow. So I can trigger from here, but let's suppose I have not triggered. But I can create a status page, right? I still I can create a status page. So what is going to show? Whether it's showing passing, whether it's showing failing, or what else it is going to show? So it is going to show in the gray, in the gray color, and it is showing no status. All right. So this is like a very useful, uh, and it it will make our readme like uh, more fancy. All right. So that's it. Uh, that's the end of the video. Uh, thank you.